person objecting. Once you have listened to all the uh, proposals, you will then now uh, proceed to a vote on the item that uh, will be placed on the agenda of the organization. If at the end of the process there are many candidates, uh, there are many proposals still on the table, then you will proceed to a roll call vote according to a procedure that my colleague Ambassador Philip will explain to you and administer on my behalf. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. I see that South Africa has the uh, wish to raise something. Uh, I believe it will be just a point of order, not more than that. Otherwise, yes. we will not do yes, the uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson, the, the, the President of the IPU. I thought that as per the what has been read here in the script that has been circulated, we've got two motions which, although we do not have insight of the details of it, they relate to an issue which was discussed in the 144th Assembly in Nusadua in Indonesia, where we established a task team to go and conduct a fact-finding mission and engagements with uh, the parliaments of Ukraine and Russia. And I think it will be premature and it will be misleading to could want to entertain issues that relate to Ukraine and Russia first without having received a report from the task team that was established by the 144th Assembly. I would think that for... Thank you. Uh -oh. So, okay. Thank you. Before I give the floor to the Secretary General, you, all the countries are free to propose everything. We don't make a censorship. Ch and, uh, speaker, and also, like uh, also <laughs> and I, I need to say, for instance, about Palestine, we have, in all meetings, our proposals are against Palestine. And but the, never this problem was raised. But the basic logic was that, can you please get a report no, first, okay. so that we are okay. we you explain your position in an informed you, discussion. You, you explain your position, very welcome, but we need to go forward. Mr. Secretary General, and we will begin the votes. Mr. Mr. President, thank you very much. Maybe I was not very clear when I pr explained the procedure for uh, holding a uh, vote on the emergency item. I said that we had four proposals and the regulations stipulate that for each of the proposals you will have one person who would speak in favor of that proposal and another person who, if they prefer to uh, object to the proposal. When I hear what the uh, uh, honorable member from South Africa is saying, and I understand that he may object to the uh, proposals that relate to an item that have been discussed before. He is at liberty when those proposals are tabled before the assembly and the, the proponents have spoken, he is at liberty to express his disagreement with that and the procedure allows him to do that. But he cannot do that until he has listened to those proposals that are tabled. And I remind you, only one objection can be entertained by the rules. So, Mr. President, you may wish to proceed now with uh, that, the that's, that's clear, Secretary General. We, we, we please note us on the objections, uh, so that we're the first ones to deal with it. Rules. The rules of IPU. And now I will give the floor to, uh, to the first proponents. Uh, on a point of order. Mr. Speaker, point of order? It's just a point of order, please. Don't yes. begin the discussion about the issues. No. I respect the chair. Um, we need also to address the rules. There's no point of just reading the rules. The rules must guide us as to the acceptability 
of the item. First and foremost, you, you cannot lay before the table where, where a matter does not meet the requirement of the rules, particularly Rule 11 2A. That must guide us. It's not a question of coming with an item, then you speak to it. I think the, the, the Secretary General should advise accordingly. It's not a question of tabling an item. It's a question of tabling an item that fits the bill of the statute. In this case, it must be an, uh, must be an item that relates to recent major situation of international concern. You, you, you cannot ask for tabling before whether you, you, you have got to scan the item, whether it complies with the rules. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I believe that all the proposals, and this is the decision of the President, that all the proposals are in accordance with the rules. But, no. but no. I will give the floor because no. to the Secretary General, because I understood that the Secretary General at the steering uh, preparation explained it to all members. But uh, allow me to say, I really believe in parliamentarism. And I, don't, I, I should be in my parliament at least, because it's a very democratic parliament, we discuss all the issues. Sometimes, a lot of times, I don't like the issues you are discussing. But we need to discuss everything. And, and my position will be demonstrated by the vote, not by a veto from the President or from the Secretariat of my Parliament. No. I will give the floor to the Secretary General. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like, in response to the uh, issue, the concern raised by Speaker Mudenda, to confirm that this matter was discussed this morning during the steering committee of uh, the Assembly, which is the body that looks into all the procedural matters and makes sure that all those matters comply with the relevant rules and uh, provisions of uh, the organization. It was uh, the considered view of the steering committee that all four proposals complied with the criteria set out in Article 11. 2A or so, 2A, uh, uh, is it 2A? Yes, 11-2A, two, 